What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva, and today we're making a gimlet. Now if you guys have been paying attention to this channel from the beginning, which I know some of you have, you'll know that we did a gimlet before, but that gimlet was a more modern interpretation and today I want to do a more traditional interpretation. There is a lot of information on the gimlet. The history is very long and uh, convoluted, so I'm not going to get into the whole history here. If you read the show notes, I have taken the liberty of sort of writing about all of the players, but what I will say that is that the first gimlets were actually a stirred drink that didn't um, actually have lime juice in it, it had lime cordial. The lime cordial that was being used was created by a guy named Lachlan Rose in 1867. It was called Rose's Lime Cordial. You can still get it today. Unfortunately, today, that product is laced with tons of um, chemicals, and so I decide not to use it. Instead, we made our own cordial to sort of equate that uh, Rose's Lime Cordial. So if you look at the uh, link above, then you'll be able to click it and you'll, we can, and then you can learn how to make this. So this is house made Lime Cordial, which I'm pretty proud of. I did a pretty deep dive on the internet to figure out how to kind of make it and read about it from a lot of authorities in the bartending world. Um, go to that video, learn how to make it, and then we can make this cocktail together. So the first thing we're going to do is going to be really simple, guys. The first thing we're going to do is just do a half an ounce of Lime Cordial. And then we're doing two ounces of Tanqueray 10. Uh, I picked this gin specifically for its flavor profile and how that would match with the, um, the uh, cordial that we put in the glass. So if you're going to switch this out, just keep in mind that this is very kind of pretty juniper forward, but it's got a lot of, um, it's got a lot of botanical elements, but it also is pretty citrusy. Um, and it's going to go really well with this. So if you switch it out, just keep in mind how this tastes so that you can make a good decision. The Tanqueray Malacca gin, that is actually that the limited release would actually be a good choice for this as well, I think. Um, and then we're just going to add our ice and stir. Now you also got to keep in mind that because we only have a two, and a, a two and a half ounce cocktail, we chose a glass that actually has just like, I think this is about three and a half to four ounce capacity um, so that the cocktail sits right because as one of the viewers that we have so eloquently put it, it really sucks to have a drink that's in too big a glass. It just doesn't look right. So it's good to make sure that you pick your glass for properly. That looks nice and chilled and combined. And then we're just gonna pour. And I will say that some of you are going to ask me why I didn't shake this because it does have, let's say like lime juice or the lime cordial and it has, well it has a little bit of lime and it has a little bit of sugar so why didn't I shake it? The thing is, is that because it's a cordial and it's mostly sugar, you don't actually need to shake it. We've already combined what little lime juice is in the cordial um, with its other ingredients and it's already steeped in, so it's already been uh, mixed. So this, this is going to mix with this just fine by stirring. And then we're just gonna cut a little lime wheel, stick it on the side. Oh, good, stood up and everything. There you have it, my friends. The traditional gimlet, let's have a taste. So obviously, the gin is going to be the star of the show, and the way that that pairs with the uh, cordial that you put in there is of utmost importance. Um, you get a lot of that really robust lime flavor, and it's very tart. I put a little citric acid powder in this, so to just to kind of dial up the tartness, and there is also a little bit of lime juice in there to sort of dial up the sort of to dial up the lime, but also to give it like this nice mouthfeel. Um, and to sort of take away from the saccharin flavor of the sugar. Um, but this is a really eloquent, lovely uh, gimlet. You guys should definitely try and make it at home. Anyway, see you next time.